Today is November 3rd. It is Thursday. I'm sort of freaking out because I did edit the video that I was going to upload today, but it somehow did not go through. So I'm going to have to edit it right after class and try, I'm going to try to get it done before noon. Um, so yeah, so peace. After that, I'll see if I can post something and see what I can film today for next week's video. So yeah, peace. So today all I did was wash the starlet and I tried polishing the blue paint as close as I can so I can get it to shine. Um, looks pretty good for what it is. Let's see if you can actually tell. It's still dull but it's the original paint. But just trying to get at least the body to shine a little more. Driver's side looks a lot better. You can see more of a reflection. But yeah, I tried polishing the paint on the car and I think it looks a lot better than before. So yeah, that's my update of the day, is just uh, wash and try to clean the paint out. Update, I just received this in the mail. It is a Broadway 400mm um, mirror. Con or it's convex, so it's, it's curved, and it's going into the Starlet. It's the biggest mirror they sell. It's just arrived. Not sure what it is exactly. But I know it's for the Starlet. Oh, it's my new clutch lock. Some more protection for the car. Um, yeah, hopefully get more parts later today. It is currently November 5th. It's Saturday. I... I guess I'm gonna get this car possibly tuned by a friend. Um, cylinder three is spinning, so hopefully I can get that fixed. Peace. So I just got home from a friend's house. He adjusted my carbs. Cylinder three was originally coughing, but now it no longer coughs. Um, he gave me a, he said he's gonna give me a shopping list of Makuni parts that I need to pick up for my carbs, um, some jets and stuff like that. Um, linkage is kind of old and it has some play so he's gonna or he's gonna give me a list of stuff that I can do to fix all that stuff um, I guess right now I'm gonna go head over to tap plastics and see if I can buy some like some sheet ABS for my radio den area and the trunk of my car to make it look a little more clean in here and yeah that's what I'm doing today. Peace. So I bought some ABS. This is gonna be the liner for the trunk area, the Starlet. And they gave me this, which I'm gonna use for the radio dent area. Hopefully it's big enough and hopefully it'll look good. Okay, so this is my dash currently right now. Um, I just made a plastic piece that'll go in that, that area over there. And it fits pretty well, so here we go. So I'm thinking of just putting some double sided tape behind it just to make it look solid. But yeah, looks much cleaner than a gaping hole in the dash. Okay, so today is currently November 7th, it's Monday. Um, I wasn't able to film anything yesterday. I was really busy at work. Um, been working really long shifts and yeah. So um, here's the update on the Starlet so far. Um, I got some ABS plastic and I started making a, a little trim piece for the front dash. I'm planning on putting a radio in the car since I'm planning on dailying it. Um, I have a 
I have another sheet of ABS, which I'm actually planning on making a a piece for the trunk area of the car, just to blacken it out, make it look like that it's a little more cleaner than it actually is inside the car. I'm also, oh, um, I ordered a radiator. It's on the way. It's a Mishimoto radiator. Um, the reason why I went with Mishimoto is that they have a lifetime guarantee with all their radiators and products. Um, apparently, if something goes wrong or needs to be replaced, they'll replace it for you. And yeah, it's nice to have a lifetime warranty on items like that. I also ordered a a roll bar. I was planning on getting a roll cage for the car, um, but um, yeah, it just didn't turn out so well. I was looking at the Cusco roll cages, the Bolton cages. I didn't want something that went permanently in the car, and the Cusco ones I found out where the materials that they use in it wasn't thick enough or it wasn't certified for any SCCA or NSA racing. Um, ended up picking up a auto power roll bar. Just one of the roll bar right now because it's a street car, but I was told by auto power that later down the road I could actually bring the car down to them in Southern California and they'll fab up the front part of the cage so they can make it a full cage instead of just a roll bar. Um, yeah, I went this route because their, their full race, bar, race cages are SCCA and MSA approved as long as you get the door bars put in, um, planning on doing that later down the road. Um, this way I get to save some money for the meantime and it looks, it gives me something to look forward to in the future. Um, these cages are all made to order. Um, Auto Power is just one of the only ones that makes a full bolt-in cage for the car. Unfortunately, they didn't have the schematics or diagrams for the front half of the cage, so that's why I ended up ordering the roll bar itself. And yeah, that's my update for the car so far. Um, today is, yeah, it's still Monday. It's currently 10 a.m. Right now, I guess I'm gonna try to finish up some more little interior pieces in the car, make it look a little more cleaner, and hopefully get other stuff ready so that way I can daily this car to work. It's a car that I've actually been wanting to drive and I can't right now because it doesn't have plates or anything like that. So yeah, that's the update and peace. I'm working on this on the Starlet right now. So I made a little panel here, added a radio in here. I'm trying to figure out the speaker wiring from behind it, but I'll figure that out eventually. At least it's all mounted in, in the right location. And this bad boy just arrived. It's a Mishimoto all aluminum radiator. I mentioned that I ordered one earlier and it arrived today. I also have fans and hoses from them coming but I don't know when, so hopefully soon I can have this in the car instead of having this giant puddle in front of the car. Original radiator blew on me, so going with uh, Mishimoto with a lifetime warranty one. It's Tuesday, November 8th. Um, it's like 1 something in the morning, 1.46 in the morning. Recently got home from work. But it looks like I got two packages here today. Um, let's see what came in. I believe this is my oil filters because I'm doing uh, oil. I'm going to change the oil on the car. I'm going to put this down. So I got two because I'm planning on doing a, um, what's it called? I am going to get rid of all the oil in the system and do a flush. I have a flush on the way too.
And then these, I believe, are my battery terminals. Yep, I wanted these quick release ones. Um, so I can get the battery on and off quickly. That's pretty much the packages I came in today. So battery terminals and two oil filters. Peace. So it is currently Tuesday, 11, 18, November 18th. And I'm on my way to AAA to actually get the car registered for once so I can actually drive it around. Um, so wish me luck and hopefully you'll see this car around town and yeah, at some local events and stuff. Peace. Got some amazing news. I got plates. It's registered. It's insured and I'll be on the streets. So yeah, you'll be seeing the starlet around and yeah, that'd be cool. Just want to get, let you guys know and got to get ready for work. It's currently 1.43. I have work at 3, but I haven't had lunch yet. I'm going to get some grub on, put some the plates on the car, hopefully take the car to work. So today is currently November 9th. It is Wednesday. Um, yeah, I've been having issues with the Starlet. Drove it to work yesterday been having some popping noises and stuff and I found out that the distributor for Makuni parts in Northern California is local to me. Uh, this morning I was able to get in contact with him and hopefully he will be checking out my car around 4 o'clock which is in about like 10 minutes or so. Um, so yeah I guess I'm gonna go head over to his place in a couple minutes get some parts for my car and hopefully get it running perfectly. Peace. Okay, so it's still um, November 9th and update, I ended up going to the McCoonie distributor and found out that he has everything that I need to get the car running in tip top shape. He just told me that I need to address some things before going back to him and he's on a, he's getting ready to go on a trip so he couldn't help me that long um so yeah i'm i guess i'm gonna be wiring in the stereo tomorrow i have it all mounted and everything it's just not wired in i'm gotta fix what's it the water temperature gauge is not set it's not wired to the sensor on the motor so i gotta do that as well i gotta cut part of the front radiator support so I can put in my new 8.6 radiator that I have and I'm trying to think of what else I need to do that I can do with the stuff I have currently um got new plugs need to get some oil and I have oil filters already and yeah that sounds about it yeah I just gotta do a basic tune-up on the car, waiting on some other stuff like coolant and stuff, and the car should be in tip-top shape. So yeah, peace.